Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1966 Chrysler 300 convertible. Really nice ride, uh, tons of documentation, original window sticker. We're gonna go into full details on this one, put the top down, put all the windows down, and take it for a spin. If you wanna see underside shots, go to our website, click on the link below. You'll be able to see everything there, along with all the documentation. We're gonna be listing this on Bring a Trailer. That's an auction format site. So if you don't see a price, please read the description and it'll explain how that works. So essentially zero dollars means it's going to auction. We'll have it listed in the main category of our description and good luck with bidding. Appreciate it. We're gonna start off with the overall condition. I rate this a six out of 10. Shows extremely well, but I would call this an eight to 10 footer. There are minor imperfections throughout. Underside is very solid, lots of receipts. Uh, let's start off with the front end. So front end's very clean, headlights work, taillights work, all your emblems look good, and you're gonna start to see some of the imperfections throughout. So this has had one repaint. See the 300 emblem right there. Chrome is driver quality, so there are imperfections. You're gonna see small marks on the, on the front fascia. This is a big girl. I'd say this is easily 19 and a half feet long. All the trim is in place. You can see the dual trim pieces right here. Tires are, look like they're Coker white walls. And yeah, they are, they're Coker classics. But you're gonna see some checking on the paint. So there's slight checking. Shows really well, it'd do really well at car shows, for sure. Power windows, interior is extremely clean, steering wheel is not cracked, horn works, and the dash is extremely nice and very presentable. It does have uh, aftermarket stereo and speakers that are located underneath the seats. Seat belts throughout, so you have seat belts for all your passengers and the armrest does go up. You can see that there is some pitting on the chrome right here. And we're, we're showing you all these imperfections so you can see what you're getting. I want you to be happy when you buy a car from us. We've sold over, I would say, close to 80 cars on Bring a Trailer and over 1,600 worldwide in the past 12 years. We have 100% positive feedback. You've got your fender skirts here that do come off. Bright work is nice on the driver's side. You do see a little bit of pitting on the corners. Chrome is nice on the rear bumper. And you do have two sets of keys. I'm sorry, three sets of keys and then three sets of door keys. Let's open up the trunk. Trunk lid does show oxidation, starting to show its age. There's no rust. So you've got a ton of documentation here. So you're gonna have all the receipts and it doesn't stop. What's neat about it is it does have the original window sticker. Keep everything organized here. So inside here, you're gonna have the original window sticker. So 300 convertible, torque flight transmission, and then you do have the cert card as well, and the owner's manual. And that's not a reproduction. Spare tire, spare air filter, and a ton of spare parts. Looks like they did some work um, in regards to the interior because you do have a lot of trim pieces, arm pieces, and um, small things. This looks like the glove box, the old glove box. That's all gonna be included along with a lot of sensors. So here's all your, here's the copy of the window sticker. We have two of these. So it had a sheer grip rear end, uh, golden tone AM radio, which has been replaced with a modern one. It has a rear speaker with a reverberator, which is $52. Power windows, seat belts, and the total for this car in 1966 was $4,745.20. So there's all the sensors. We've got a light bulbs, temp switch, and then I don't know what this is. I've, I've been wondering since we looked at the car, but I'm including it because it was in the box, a piece of wood. All right. There's also additional trim behind this package that's gonna be included. You can see that back there. You have more storage up here as well. And the trunk lid is extremely nice. Jacking plate instructions. 
and all your stampings are still visible. I know a lot of guys want to see underneath the mat, so you can see that. Very clean. Let's go to the other side. I'll show you this side too. You can see that it's nice and solid. It's all metal. Passenger side is basically the same condition as the driver's side. All the trim looks good, and then there's that typical wear on the handles. Top is old, so the, the plastic is starting to show its age. There's a zipper up there that's starting to get loose. Power top works perfect, though. And I think that this car deserves to have the top down at all times. You can see inside the doors that it's nice and solid. Uh, when they did the repaint, they just did the exterior. And it looks like a, an older paint job, for sure. That's why we're giving it that 6 out of 10 rating. Seats are nice. There are minor imperfections, so you're going to have small tears, small imperfections here. But these are the original seats. You can see the lights are still working in the dash, glove box, and then the aftermarket radio. I'm going to open the hood now, and then we'll start it up and take it for a test drive. All right, let's open it up. So it's powered by a 383. We didn't do any sort of decorating to just spray the top of the motor. That's how it looks. Uh, runs really nice. Uh, newer alternator. Radiator has been recored. And you can see that this is extremely clean. It does have a kill switch in place. But you can leave this car with the kill switch engaged. So basically, there's, ba there's power going to the car for about a month, and there's no issues at all. So there's no draw in the system. You've got your body tag right here original fasteners and this is where that cert card that we have in that little metal canister would be located normally you can see that the hood is solid as well and all the fasteners are proper you do have a little rubber protection right here that seals up right here I have the original stickers for this on that steel box as well so these are reproduction stickers for the front Let me start it while the hood's open. Starts up easily, no smoke, no hesitation. You can let it run, doesn't get hot in traffic. Starts up easily. It's very, very quiet. No smoke from the back either, obviously. The, the, you can still hear the, the valve for the, um, I guess that's to heat up the block right there, making a little bit of a ticking noise. It's not a valve noise, it's just the exhaust. Let me put the top down and the windows down, then we'll take it for a spin. It's about 73 here in Florida today. In order to take the top down, you're going to release these two levers right here. You see these? And then you're going to lift the top. You click, you click down on it, and then the top will slowly retract, actually pretty quick. You can put a parade boot on there. I don't know if we have one. Do you remember if we have a parade boot? So no parade boot is included. And then all the windows do operate, so you can put down the rears and do side by side. Jump in, let's take it for a ride. Okay, so we're sitting inside right now. The seats are comfortable, they're not worn out, so you don't have that sag, you don't feel the springs underneath it. Showing 97,000 miles. There's no funny banging or noises when you're putting it into reverse or drive. Gas gauge is working, charging gauge is working. Uh, the radio is obviously in the glove box and it does operate. Don't worry, I'll take the bandana out before we sell it. Your map light does work. Then you do have heat. Oh, we gotta turn it on, I think. There you go, the blower's working. You can see the voltage drop too. You can see that our temperature is slowly rising and we've got about 55 pounds of oil pressure. 50 to 55 pounds. We're gonna turn this off right now. 
I like this because I can keep my notes on here. I'm assuming this is what this is a business card holder. It's like a spring, and you, and I would assume you put your paperwork in there. So if I'm wrong, please let me know. That, that would that would make sense. Uh, your lights do operate, and the dash lights do operate as well. I see them illuminate. You can't really see it in the with the camera, but I can see that. Uh, windshield wipers. Windshield wipers work. And then the speakers are like basically boat speakers, I would think, or like household exterior speakers that are located underneath the seat and um, in the back as well. It, I don't. Did you try to play it or no? Mm -hmm. Does it sound good? So we're, we're showing you that the stereo works as it should. Sounds good. We'll turn it off. Dash is very nice. Rear seats are nice and you do have seat belts. And then there's that speaker that we were talking about from the window sticker with the reverb. Up here is nice. Um, your mirror does have the night and day switch. So basically just flips it down. When you put it into gear, no funny banging. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take it on to Marina Mile and then we'll bring it to a location where we can actually get some outside shots and let you guys decide if this is the right car for you. We're selling this on Bring a Trailer, so if you have any questions, just leave a comment below or you can click on the Contact Seller button and we'll get you additional photos, etc. If you'd like to come and take a look at it before the auction ends, you're more than welcome to do so. Just give us a call a uh, day or an hour in advance if it's within working hours and we'll get you set up. Uh, we can also put on a lift if you need as well. Brakes feel good, they're now pulling from left to right. Nice and easy. Right now we have a gentleman reversing from an on-ramp uh, against traffic. So if you want to see that, it's going on right now. Miami. We're not even in Miami. That's a Miami thing. We're in Fort Lauderdale. So if you want to come see us, we're five minutes from the Fort Lauderdale airport, and you're more than welcome to do so. This guy's going to cause an accident. Steering's easy, so it does have power steering. It goes back in place easily. I never got the tire date code, so we will get that for you when we, uh, when we have the description written out. But it goes over bumps nicely. It's not bouncing all over the place. It's very smooth. You can feel that there's weight to the car. Brakes feel good. They're stopping even. Horn works. Very loud. Let's you know this is a Chrysler. It actually feels great with that motor. It's a torque flight transmission, three speed. It's a 383. Uh, how much horsepower? Good question. I think it's 300 horse, 330 horsepower. Maybe, I would think so because this is pre-emissions. Google it. If you're interested in this car, Google. Feels good, turn signal works. See it illuminating on the dash. And it feels great today with this weather, 73. We've got enough gas to make our video. Turning left here and then we'll go to our spot where we can get some outside shots. Maybe we'll even catch an airplane landing in the Fort Lauderdale airport. This is a nice driver. Brakes feel good. It's not getting hot. We're at 100 and uh, like 180 degrees right now. Oh, 170 degrees. Feels really good. Our voltage is working. You can see uh, it's pretty funny. So when the turn signal goes off, you can see the voltage drop because of the lights. Modern cars would have the LED lights, so you're not going to have that type of draw. Uh, we're at around 35 pounds at operating temperature, which is fine. Let's see if the brake works. E-brake is holding the car right now. If I release it, it does start to move. That was a bold move. Imagine if it got stuck. Glass is nice on the, on the front too, so you can see through this. There's no imperfections, no real rock chips. All of the chrome around the windows is nice. And then you do have your air condition, which works. I love this design on the doors too, and that is in really nice shape. I 
I do see a little bit of wear on the rear armrest on your side. We hope you appreciate these videos. We're just trying to showcase the car so that you can make an honest purchase. We don't want to have any problems um, and we want you to be happy. We can give you referrals if you're in a different state from people that have purchased from us in the past. 95% of the cars that we sell are sight unseen and online based. We can help you with shipping and we can help you with financing. If you want to finance this, since it's going to auction, you're going to want to get pre-approved for, for an amount. So you can call JJ Best Bank or any other lender and see what your max amount you can bid to is. They'll tell you how much money you can spend essentially. So don't bid on it without getting pre-approved because that could cause an issue. For us, it may be a no sale and maybe it'll embarrass you and they may have to kick you off and bring a trailer. Steering feels great through these corners. Let's see how it feels. Feels good. Big old land yacht. I have a problem with these. I keep buying them. Because they're so, you, like, it's a perfect cruiser. Let's see how it feels. Ready? I'm giving it gas right now. No, no smoke out of the exhaust. 55 miles an hour, no issues. We're going to go over some bumps here. Feels good, no clunking. It's a nice ride. <laughs> it's like driving a spaceship. <laughs> we'll turn left here and we'll get some outside shots. Sounds like there's a plane taking off right now. I don't know if, where it is, but we'll see some airplanes in the meantime too. If you ever come to visit us, come around five o'clock. This is all private land for the airport. You'll see coyotes. It's pretty neat to see them. They just wander around in these fields right here. Story time with John. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Have a great day.